The third quality of good friends, one hadith states, their presence reminds you of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Their tongue, meaning their speech, increases your knowledge and their actions remind you of the day of judgment. Good friends are those friends whom when you associate with brothers and sisters, you are reminded of Allah, you are reminded of what's right, of what's correct, of what you have to do. Not of your desires, what I want, what's fun for me. Because oftentimes when we look for friends, we want friends who will give you a good time, right? You want friends to have fun with, entertainment. I want to be entertained. Now yes, it's good to have a friend whom, you know, who's, who shares the fun with you, who's entertaining, that's good. A friend who's humorous, that's excellent. But that's not the only thing you should be looking for. You should be looking for a friend who reminds you of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's what you should be looking for. When you're with this friend, after you spend time with this friend, you feel better about yourself. You feel closer to God, closer to your parents, closer to your family members. Because you know, one problem is, I know some friends, when you spend time with them, you begin to hate your parents more. If you ever realize that, this means this is a bad friend. This is not a friend who wants your goodness. A true friend is the one whom after you spend time with, you become more loving towards your parents, toward your family members. This is a true friend. He makes you feel better. He uplifts your spirituality.